y'all, quick y'all. Legendary ride, you already know what's going on. This morning, we outside, enjoying the beautiful air. I just want to say, y'all, man, enjoy your life. You blessed. You're beautiful. If you woke up this morning, you serve a purpose. You just need to figure out what the purpose is. Thank God, pray, and get about whatever you're supposed to be getting at. Seriously. Serve your purpose. Don't be sad about things that you can't change. Embrace the things that you can and live a better life. Legend. Legend. Gang. Gang, 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 gang. What's up, y'all? Listen. Right now, I want to be totally transparent with y'all. Right now, I want to roll up my sleeves and talk to y'all. I want to, I want to be honest. On this Motivational Tuesday, you know, I just want to talk to y'all. I don't want to, I don't want to, um... I don't want to go too far over the line or anything like that. I just want to be real, you know? Totally transparent. We not dressed up. We real. We chilling. And just, um, definitely talk to y'all. I was, um, watching a YouTube video of one of the people on YouTube that inspired me. And she made a good point, man. She made a good point. And basically her point was to just keep going where wherever you getting at, you know, wherever you getting at, just basically, you know, just keep going. And I like that, you know what I mean? And basically, it was two from Sh Shamika and Tamika uh, channel. I love them. You know, I've been watching them for a long time. They came a long way. And they inspired me to keep going, you know? Because, you know, they go through their things and they're still here. They still, you know, transparent and things like that. And like, basically, you know, God put something on her heart to say out to you guys, do a video, just turn on the camera, no scripts, no nothing, just, just, just real. And then within listening to that, I felt like God touched me to go ahead and do my Motivational Tuesdays and just piggyback off of, you know, what she was saying and get into my own feelings. And, you know, like, she was saying I could relate to, you know, as YouTubers, you know, some of us turn on the camera when everything good. We really turn it on when everything is bad and something's going on and stuff like that. And, you know, right now I'm in my hometown. Y'all know I'm a business owner. And, you know, I'm hiring. And it's hard, you know, because... We got everybody getting unemployment. We got everybody cre creating a business, getting a PPP loans and stuff. And it's hard for a legitimate business to continue to run without employees. I went to the market yesterday and there was two lines open. Line out the door. Like say if the cash registers are stationed in front of line one, or aisle one, it was a line all the way to aisle 20. Because there were only two cashiers open. And they apologized. They apologized, and then they apologized, and they apologized. And everybody, like, you know, we understand, we get it. It's not your fault. Whoop-de-woo. 
And they just like, nobody don't want to work. <laughs> and when they said that, I felt it. Because it's so hard to get quality workers right now. And it's like, you put the bulletin out there. You say, okay, you'll make a higher pay than, you know, normal. Whatever. Just to get workers. And with the government still giving this money out, it just doesn't help. Nobody wants to work if they can make triple the amount at home than they would at work. And I believe that it's starting to damage the economy. It has to be. <clears throat> Even though they're only putting the money back into the economy because, or, you know, because they just shopping at different stores and stuff like that. But on the business aspect, it's damaging the economy. It's damaging the economy. And it's like, what do you do at that point? How do you... How do you continue to grow? So I'm here, I'm at the office. And if you look at a, you know, a couple of different videos... I've been here like every day, <laughs> you know, and everyone, the few people that do come in, um, reaching out to other people, using, you know, different apps and things like that. And, you know, probably out of reaching out to, I want to say roughly guessing, maybe like 50, 60, 70 people, just a ballpark. All right, three people. <laughs> three people. These is like reaching out. People don't come in. Things like that. Say they're going to come. They don't. Um, <clears throat> or they just not really good candidates. And meaning, you know, they'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want. Is, is this on the table? I don't really want to work, you know, on the table because I'm getting unemployment. You know, that concludes the interview. <laughs> you know? Um, things like that. And it's crazy. It's crazy. And yeah, I want to say, you know, like, we, I just was on here talking. And, like, a couple videos ago, though. Like, four or five, six, seven videos ago. But, I, you know, I had a dilemma on keeping my job, the a separate job that I got. And, you know, definitely, you know, focusing on my business. And, of course, you know, I let that job go to focus on my business, and that's cool. That's great. You know, I never, I have no regrets or anything like that. But it's just like, dang. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people really don't want to work. They really don't. You know what I mean? And it's sad. It's sad that they don't want to work. You know? But what can you do? You know, you got to keep praying. You got to keep praying and, you know, you got to have faith, you know. You have to have faith. And with that being said, I got to keep going. And, you know, I'm doing the YouTube and everything like that, and it's good. I love doing YouTube. I love being able to, I love being able to, um, You know, being able to <clears throat> express myself. Excuse me, y'all. Um, I love to express myself. I love to just be one with the camera. You know, the fact that I may have helped somebody. I may have helped somebody get through something. And I know... That, you know, some people need to, you know, hear the raw deal stuff. And that's good. 
I'd rather stick myself out there so I can help another person. Or maybe someone to see this that's a business owner and have some type of solution that worked for them and say, hey, I tried this. Maybe you should try it, you know. But it's hard getting employees. It's hard. People don't care about paying child support. With the unemployment, everybody's rich. And it's like, geez. Mm, 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 mm. And, you know, yeah, I, I was talking to my cousin yesterday, and um, she was like, yeah, you know, because I was telling her, you know, entrepreneurship is hard. You know, creating your own income, relying on yourself to get paid and, you know, stuff like that is hard. And she was saying, you know, yeah, people don't look at it like that. They don't look at the late nights, early mornings and things like that. They look at, they look at the Gucci Louis Prada, oh, you could cop this, you could do this, you could go on this trip, this and a third. They don't look at for two weeks straight, you went to bed at four in the morning and got up at seven. You know, they don't look at that. They don't look at the stressful nights just doing whatever it is you got to do to get yourself out there. Marketing, you know, stuff in the yard, meaning going out, handing out your cards and stuff like that. And, you know, how many awkward situations you got to you gotta be in and you got to swallow your pride just to, you know, keep it going and make sure you do what you got to do. Like, they don't look at that. They don't look at when people, you know, let you down. And at the end of the day, you the only person that got you. <laughs> you know, they don't look at that. They don't look at when you're trying to prosper and you're trying to, you know, make it a, a better situation for yourself and for your family. Excuse me, y'all. People don't look at but then you doing that. You're evolving, you know, not changing. You're evolving you for the better. They look at it like you're changing and you feel like you this, you feel like you that. Like, you know, in this entrepreneurial world, you lose friends, you, you lose family, you lose people that don't understand. You lose the naysayers that say you're not going to do it. Some people don't believe. I mean, I've been in business for myself for four years. You know what I mean? I made it my business to grow enough to be able to move me and my family out of my hometown. And people still say, it's, <laughs> you ain't really doing nothing. It ain't this, it ain't that. Starting this YouTube and, you know, being on YouTube and stuff like that and dedicating my time to this YouTube over the last couple months. <gasps> Excuse me. People saying, you ain't doing nothing. It ain't going to work. You're not going to, you know... Get whatever you try and get out of it. And it's like, to me, I'm not really trying to get anything, anything that's negative. I'm just trying to continue to prosper. Let people know things from my perceptions that may be able to help people. Continue to protect people. Continue to create jobs for people. You know, I'm not doing nothing that's like harming anybody, but everybody want to harm the entrepreneur. Mm. Talk to him. I know y'all felt that. <laughs> For real. But hey, y'all. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and just, you know, let y'all know, like, y'all beautiful. Like, if you woke up today, if you're looking at this video, if... You know, you're able to do something for the better of yourself and your situation. Do it. Do it, man. Do it. You serve a purpose. You just got to figure out what your purpose is. And that's one game. Listen, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn your notifications on so you know when I'm dropping another lit, lit, lit video. It's legend. I'm going. Once we all be stuck, you already know the deal.